This video will demonstrate a very useful application called Loudmax. This is used for the input of mumble to keep it exactly the same going to the mumble input no matter what you put to the input of Loudmax. So we're going to go minus 24 to plus 24 and no matter what that volume level is to the input of Loudmax, Loudmax output will send its energy over to the mumble input and that will stay the same at minus 15 which is what I have it set here at the minus 15 in the output here and this is sort of like an AGC and it's very useful I'm gonna just leave it here for a second just for this demonstration we're also going to bring up a spectrum analyzer so you can see this uh, first we'll show you the mumble VU meters So minus 15 is about right here on Mumble. Okay, now what we need you to do is watch. This is actually the input to Loudmax, what this spectrum analyzer is viewing. And now I'm going to raise it up from minus 24 here. This M equalizer is a uh, application that goes before Loudmax. And what you're hearing is Morse code audio tones. And they're first coming in M equalizer. And I'm setting the gain here. And I'm going to take the gain all the way up to plus 24. And yet, loud max is going to keep it to minus 15. This is to the output of M equalizer. And also, which would represent the input of loud max. So you're going to see this energy going up. And yet, loud max output will stay the same. So just kind of watch this meter. You'll see that raise up. Now that second tone is the mumble loopback coming back from the server. Just so you can hear that the first tone and the second tone that's a bounce back from the server are pretty close in volumes. Take it back down. So all that whole range, uh, capacity of M equalizer, the mumble input was always at minus 15 because loud max was able to control that energy. And it didn't distort it as you saw here in the spectrum analyzer, the, the waveform was very solid. And same thing for the mumble input VU meters, about the same, and the mumble sound itself. Pretty, pretty close. This is all possible using Jack Router and uh, in uh, ASIO for All. Here's my settings for ASIO for All. Jack Router is using this as the Realtek sound card and yet converting it to an ASIO wrapper so that Jack Router can use this pseudo ASIO sound card. If you have a real ASIO sound card, it works even better. But for just using one sound card. You don't have to go out and buy an ASIO sound card. The ASIO for all seems to be working very well. Just to describe a bit of this setup, the system represents a microphone jack. I have a CW keyer that's sending out tones. And the M equalizer is a post filter after all this, so I'm going to turn this back down to about right there. Turn it all the way down. Okay, so we're using audio to MIDI to convert the audio from the keyer, which is pretty harsh. Uh, you hear that on the left channel. I'll put it on both, and you'll hear it's a pretty harsh wave. So you're hearing it with the regenerated CW from this audio to MIDI. Anyway, this takes the audio, converts it to a MIDI message, keys a second software CPO, sends it to a pre-filter, uh, bandpass filter here, then this M equalizer, which polishes it up even more, sends it to Loudmax. Loudmax controls the energy output to minus 15, sends it to the mumble input, which is listening on this ASIO bridge, which is actually a virtual audio card called Hi-Fi Cable. So it takes Windows Audio, converts it to an ASIO, system so that you can use ASIO and Windows Audio at the same time. 
So this is the bridge from VB Audio. And then that's sending it over to the system so I can hear it, which is my HD sound card represented by Azeal for All here. Anyway, works pretty good. I was pretty impressed with LoudMax. And this takes a little bit of the pressure off. It once you know how much input it takes to get Mumble to operate correctly. And this is fairly close to what seems to work for us. This minus 15. And it can go up or down a couple. Probably this is the lowest you want to have it as far as going towards the left. So between minus 15 and minus 12 is an ideal volume. This is volume. This is just the amount of volume before the Mumble's own AG circuit starts to kick in. When Mumble's AGC circuit kicks in because there's too much energy, it tends to distort the audio tones, the CW audio tones. So that's why we keep it this low. We put it just below that threshold and that keeps the uh, audio a lot more in its pure state so that it's not affected. And Mumble does a great job of handling Morse code audio tones, uh, especially with the new Opus codec and with the high quality setting here at 96. Anyway, I thought this was very interesting. You might uh, take a look at LoudMax. And it just eases up the pressure so that if you happen to change your settings or whatever, or you need a little more volume here or there, you don't have to go and figure out how to get minus 15 back to the mumble input. This kind of streamlines it for you. And almost, it's almost an automatic set once you, once you determine this, what settings you want to put on here and how far deep you want to go for the threshold. Anyway, thanks for watching.